great, not good. The plan is so deeply ingrained into me that I know exactly what's gonna happen. He enjoys being on the track. For him, it's fun. He got it. Miller Lyles, right on the line. There's tons of people who are good. There's tons of people who have gotten to where I am now. But to be great, you have to do what most people haven't. You have to win the gold medal. You have to do it more than once. You have to do it three times. Do it three times in a row. Break a world record. Do it again. These are the things that make you great. But just like life, track has highs and lows. Right now we're trying to just do oh. world champs. <laughs> is it July or is it June? July. Yeah, that's Father God, thank you for this food. Please bless it, help it to nourish our bodies and give us strength. Uh, thank you for all the opportunities you've been giving us. Use your prayer, amen. 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 It didn't just happen overnight because a lot of people think that success is instantaneous, but it's not. I would be in the hospital so many times instead of, you know, sleeping in my room with my brother. He used to get a lot of ear infections when he was a baby. And on top of that, whenever he would get sick, such as a cold or the seasons would change, he would um, start to have an asthma attack. It was asthma where he was coughing so frequently that he couldn't stop coughing long enough to eat or to talk or to play. My parents got divorced. We lived in a one bedroom apartment and had a small little living room. And when we first got there, it was just me and my brother. We went from being like, you know, a, a solid middle class family to, you know, uh, below average. We went to this apartment where the lights were kind of switching on and off because we couldn't pay the bills all the time. It still felt normal because we had our whole family there, you know, it didn't feel, yeah, there were tough times, but it's way easier to go through when you have your family there. We had been doing sports since we were eight, and it was kind of just the fun activity to do. We were watching the opening ceremony of 2012 Olympic Games, and my brother jumps up and he's like, bro, we can go to the Olympics. I'm like, I'm gonna be there, we're gonna be there. He's like, yeah, and I was like, we only have to drop this amount of time. He's like, all we have to do is drop a second each year, four years. And they said, mom, we want to make the Olympic team, which I thought was crazy. Because in order to make the Olympic team, you have to first run fast enough to qualify for the Olympic trials. And my mom would say, you guys worry about running, and it's my job to worry about how we're going to get there. We didn't have access to a trainer. We needed the money to go to see a chiropractor. We needed the money to get nutritional support to make sure that Noah's asthma didn't flare up. This is a lot of work. I'm just thinking back on it and getting tired. <laughs> but you know, we, we made it happen. Athletes are the embodiment of sacrifice, you know, from childhood all the way to now, because most of the greats have started when they were around nine, six, and seven. You know, if we have to drive across the country to get to a track meet for 17 hours, which we've had to do, then that's what we're gonna do because it takes teamwork. It's almost like I feel like one generation has to be willing to sacrifice to boost the other generation up. And then later on, you get to leave a legacy because one generation sacrificed for the other ones. She always says, if you're willing to work hard for it, then I'm gonna work just as hard as you to make sure that it happens. It was so inspiring to know that you have somebody who's backing you up, who believes in your dream so much to do this for you. In the Nanjing Youth Olympics, it was like a huge moment for me. 
It was really the first time where you got to see what it would be like if you went to an Olympics. Noah Lyles now coming into his running. Noah Lyles takes it. A fantastic win. That's the fastest time in the world this year. I think I PR'd that day. That was, I ran like 20.71. The American is opening up a bigger and bigger gap. Noah Lyles was just about unstoppable. He ran such a phenomenal time. That was exhilarating. The Youth Olympics propelled him to another level, which is one thing that I love about that. It gives them the opportunity to be on a world stage. And so it's a phenomenal experience. We were very upfront with um, the fact that they wanted to go pro. So what I told them was, I said, I will do the research. I will find out as much as I can about going pro at a young age. And that way, if the opportunity presents itself, we can make an informed decision instead of an emotional decision. And me and my brother both signed pro at the same time. We had to go pro out of high school. It's just one of those things where it's not really seen as the way to go. Even in some other sports like basketball and football, you usually don't see those kids that go professional out of high school unless, you know, you have people like LeBron and stuff like that, that crazy, talented individual. So going into 2018, there was a huge determination to prove myself, that I should have been up there, that I should have won, that I should have been even considered. Here comes Lyles! Noah Lyles has done it and wins the national championship! And I um, won. <laughs> so it was, it was really exciting to watch that because I remember watching tons of 100 meter championships and now my name is put on this pedestal that I have won a US championship. It's incredible. He enjoys it. He, he enjoys the moment. He enjoys being on the track. He enjoys getting in the blocks. I mean, it's just, for him, it's fun. That's one part about his personality is he is a performer and performers tend to step up when it's the big stage, so. There is somebody right now who is working just as hard as I am. So I have to make sure that every piece of me is good. I have to make sure that my mind is strong. One of the things that my mom has said was that track and field is 90% mental and 10% physical. And I believe that 100%. So going into Tokyo, and then the gun is gonna go off and I'm gonna break the world record.